So uh, there was a lot of things that you mentioned who want to touch on uh, mm. some of those points. Let's let's maybe start with open form. If you look back and now let's say you have to start with open form again because a lot of students that I know also I had to start with open form. What would you do differently when you s use a CFD code? Would it just be jumping straight to the documentation or what would you do mm. in order to learn open form from scratch? Yeah, I'm definitely the thing that I would do, and I've had a few emails from people asking me how to do this. They say, oh, Aiden, I need to use open. I, my professor has told me I need to use open foam. I need to get a solution to uh, this problem. What should I do? Mm -hmm. And uh, I have definitely I have something I would do and then something I wouldn't do as well. Um, the first thing I would do is uh, absolutely go through the tutorials that open foam provides i think i think they start with a lid driven cavity flow i think is the first one mm -hmm. where it's just a box and you have the top of the box is moving and it just sets up a nice recirculating flow in the cavity um, so absolutely my advice would be uh go on the open phone website find the tutorials and just start with the first one and just go through it line by line to work out what on earth's going on here can i use a terminal have i even got open phone installed um how can i get some results how can i look at them what is this folder structure that's going on? There's a, there's a zero folder, a constant folder, a system folder. What, isn't this all just saved in a file? That's what I normally have. Um, so I'd absolutely go through all of the tutorials. Go through, go through the first one, the second one, and then go through a couple until you've got an idea of actually how this is working. How's the file structure working? Where do I need to put things? What's being written out? Um, and the thing I, I would recommend not doing is at that point, you can probably get to a, a situation where you think, I think I've understood enough now that maybe I could give it a go at something that's similar to my problem, but maybe not my exact problem. And what I did when I started with Open Foam is I started, um, I started using the, the block mesh tool to make my mesh. 